Since the pandemic, travel restrictions mean fewer people are crossing the border between Mexico and the U.S. Fewer shoppers, fewer workers, and one more group affected by limits on who can cross, people who are in love. We thought we both have the liberty to cross, whether he goes to visit me for the weekend or or I go to Juarez. So it, it's been tough in that aspect because he hasn't been able to cross. Brianna Martinez and her boyfriend Oswaldo Cuevas met while she was visiting her grandmother in Guanajuato, Mexico. They've dated for eight years. Seven of those years were long distance. Until Cuevas moved to northern Mexico to be closer to Martinez in El Paso. He had just moved exactly, I think, a year ago in, in January. So he had just moved to Juarez. Um, and that's when pandemic hit two months later. Border crossing from Mexican cities like Juarez has been limited since March of 2020. We, we were long distance before that. So I think it was like, oh man, we were finally together and now we're back to where we were before. Setbacks such as these can put a lot of stress on long distance relationships, according to Nancy Herrera, a counselor with the UTEP Counseling and Psychological Services. And in general, we as humans don't do well with uncertainty and don't do well with things that we don't plan for. So that's a big, big factor that is affecting a lot of people, but specifically partners. Martinez and Cuevas stayed connected through FaceTime calls and texting. In January, Martinez tried moving to Juarez to be closer to Cuevas, but the commute back and forth for work was rough. She recently bought a house in El Paso with the hopes that Cuevas will be able to visit her on the U.S. side of the border when pandemic restrictions are lifted and travel visas are again available. Unfortunately, we don't know if he'll be able to cross for the closing on the house for him to see it. So who knows how long that'll be for him to be able to to go and then see the house. In the meantime, the couple became engaged. He said it was already planned, which I believe it. I mean, we, we had been dating for eight years already. They are unsure when a wedding will take place and when they can begin the years-long process of Cueva applying for permanent residency, further delaying their happily ever after. Reporting for Borders, Inc., Clarissa Gonzalez.